Welcome to La Vida Rosa. I'm your host, Pinky. And today I'm going to be playing around with some makeup from the crayon case. So if you'd like to see more, then just stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications, and follow me on social media. So without further ado, let's get into this video. All right, y'all, this video is a long time coming. This company, the crayon case, is black owned, woman owned by a lady named Supercent on Instagram. And she started off on Vine and parlayed that into a million dollar business. And I've been wanting to purchase some of her makeup for a while. Recently on Cyber Monday, she sold a million dollars worth of makeup in one hour and i actually was a part of that that's when i bought these items they were 60 percent off it was a good sale girl it was just so inspiring to see a black business blow up that way so without further ado let's just get into the items i got i'm gonna show y'all some swatches and tell y'all my opinion of them starting off with the box of crayons which is so cute i just love the whole aesthetic of all of these items you get 18 pans and the pans are pretty big like this whole palette costs 30 dollars. i think it's totally worth the money you pretty much get every color in the rainbow and i think this would be perfect for someone just starting off and is looking to sharpen their makeup skills the colors from this palette were very straightforward with names like red yellow black brown tan pink and i'm just gonna swatch them for you Majority of the colors were very creamy and they came out super opaque just on my finger and when I applied them to my arm they were just vibrant and potent and um, I don't know if I'm using the right words but they were just very bright like crayons and I really liked all of them except for the lime green and the blue but the rest of them turned out to be beautiful. My favorites were the orange and magenta. And shout out to that black because it's one of the most blackity black blacks I've ever seen in a palette. And I was just super excited when I swatched that one. Moving on to this cute contour notebook, which has six pans, two highlighters, and four contour shades. I will be able to use two of the four contour shades and one of the highlighters. The others, I believe, I will use for eyeshadow, so there's no problem with that. This cost $14, and I thought this was a reasonable price, definitely, for all of the pans that you get. Finally, the highlighter powder in the color Rosy Glores which is a beautiful highlighter. Look at that, y'all, it's so pretty. And it's pink with a hint of gold in there, which is my favorite sort of highlighter. I like gold highlighters. I feel like those look best on my skin tone. And just look how potent that is. Look how pretty that is, y'all. And then I'm just gonna smooth it out because that's really how you wear highlighters anyway. And that is gorgeous. I cannot wait to put that on. All right, y'all, so for this look, my main focus is going to be the eyes. So let me zoom in on y'all real quick. <laughs> I used a white cream base on my eye because I feel like when you're using vibrant colors, a white base is always necessary. I tried to do this same look with a color similar to my skin tone and it just didn't have the same effect. So I would recommend using a white base because that just makes it pop. So the first color from the box of crayons palette I'm gonna use is the purple. And I'm going to use my fluffy brush to first kind of pack on the color and then blend it out into the crease and all the way into the corner. And then I'm going to take a dense brush and I'm going to basically pack that purple in more. And then I'm gonna take that same brush and blend it back out again, just to give it some more definition next i'm going to take violet and i'm going to take that same dense brush and apply it to the outer corner and the inner corner of my eye just pack that color in real heavy next i'm going to take pink and i'm going to get a fluffy brush and blend out that harsh edge Make it look a little softer while adding a, a different 
pop of color and sort of giving it a gradient look. Next, I'm gonna be taking that same white cream base and using a flat brush to create a line from my inner corner into the crease of my eye. And I'm gonna to try to make it as neat as possible. Once the line is neat, you can go ahead and fill it in and stop just short of the outer corner. Next, you want to take the color Baby Blue and grab a flat eyeshadow brush and lightly pack the Baby Blue color from the inner corner all the way up into the cut crease. And you want to make sure you cover all the white and make sure that eyeshadow is packed in there good. Next, I'm gonna take the color blue and I'm gonna take a dense brush and pack that to the outer corner. I'm trying to give the eye a little bit more smokiness on the outside, a little bit more depth. And so I'm gonna take that blue and I'm gonna blend it in and just pack that blue in there until you really get a good pop in there. Next, I'm gonna grab purple again and apply that to my lower lash line. As you can see, I've already popped on my lashes. Next, I'm gonna take white and apply that to the inner corner. Then I'm just gonna apply some mascara. And we're done with the eyes. I think they turned out pretty cute, if I do say so myself. So next we're gonna move on to the Contourization palette. I'm going to be using the color Bricky to contour right up under my cheeks. And I think this is a really nice color for to contour with. I like warmer shades when I contour. And I'm gonna take a smaller brush and contour my nose. And I've been looking for a really good contour palette to use, and I actually really like this one. Next, I'm going to take Rosy Glorez, and I'm going to just highlight my face, girl. This is going to be so pretty. <gasps> Look at that glow. Yes, it has the perfect name, Rosy Glorez. I already love gold highlighters, but this rosy one gives it a softer look, but still blinged out at the same time. I love it. Applying some to my nose. And here are the finished results. This look was inspired by my Black Panther t-shirt. <laughs> and it came out so cute. The colors were perfect. They came out so vibrant. And it was so easy to work with. So if you're a beginner, I would definitely recommend this palette. The highlighter is very soft right now, but it's buildable and you can make it as blinged out as you would like. The Contourization Notebook is very convenient and affordable and I think it will also be perfect for beginners. Overall, I love all of these products that I've gotten from the crayon case. I would love to know what you guys think about these products down below. Have you ever used them? Do you plan on buying them? Also, if you like my earrings, don't forget to check out my website down below where I have a bunch of cute accessories like the ones I'm wearing. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Peace.